Yo, welcome back. It's time to continue the journey. I gotta save the world from Gigas. Mm, I might have missed one of the notes in the other city for the uh, soundstone. Yeah, because I only have three so far. And I've already explored the fourth area. There's only, what, four more places left? And I don't know where it would be. Um, plus, I'm kind of lost, so I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just, uh... Take advantage of the hint. The hint thingy. This game has. It's nice that they added it. Since in the first game, it was like... Pretty much impossible to figure out what the heck to do. Now wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just 60 bucks. You like a hint? Yes. I heard a silver flying contraption of some sort crash landed in the graveyard in 3. That's it. Oh. Are we gonna fix the UFO? That might be what we're doing. Let's go down. I already have all my gear and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get anything better until I make it to like a new zone. Oh, it's fixed. We painted over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little old thing. All right. Does it work? Ah, here's the problem and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. What a massive brain. There, I should do it. Now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to winters with Dr. Andonut's help. I can modify the machine to fly to summers. If dad, I mean Dr. Andonuts, is not available, I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab. That's it. Go machine, go! Nice. It's cool we get to fly around in a literal UFO. <laughs> Instead of having to walk to the whole new area. We just fly there. Way more convenient. And then I can just TP after. And the music. Man, I love the music for this game. We made it to the lab. I like the animations for when we're traveling, but they're a little long. But I mean, it immerses you. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge? Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're gonna get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know? Bye bye Oh, that's the monkey that helped, uh... Jesus. In his part of the story. There's Dr. Andonuts. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ayo, aren't you? Jesus wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Why would a father say this to their <laughs> to their kid's friend? <laughs> what the <laughs> Who wrote the lines for this game? Take care of yourself and Jesus. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Raining Rain? Rainy Circle? But I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh... Huh? I understand. While well, you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes, m my co-worker. Bigfoot dislikes violence? He's such a nice guy and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Bigfoot? May I help you? What would you like? Oh. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, I bet you the cave has the next soundstone piece. 
I don't know where it's at though. I remember trying to explore it and it didn't let me. All right, here it is. You finally got here. This is the fourth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. It's like right at the entrance. Shroom attacks. All right, this guy's dead. Now that I have Emma, I can hit him with with Mega Freeze, and then I can just shoot him. Look at this. 200. That's some chunky damage. Another 100. And he dodged. It did not work. Ooh, nice. The teddy bear protected her. Just kill him already. Oh, thank goodness it froze. Finally! Man, that thing was chunky! If I didn't have a teddy bear with me, Emma would have died. And this would have been like 30 times harder to do. IQ went up, nice. My brain has expanded. What is this? Just a puddle? We're gonna hear another piece. That's it? Ah, uh, I can't wait to hear the full thing though. Ayo hey, caught a whiff of pizza, but just for a second. Ayo hey, Soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. How nice. And we got fully healed. Everything restored. Back to the lab. Mr. Ando Nuts, you done? Oh, Ayo. Hey, Okay, why is he saying that? Take care of yourself with Jesus. Hmm, it looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Alright. But we're good. We're good. Let's get out of here. Let's move on. See you later, Mr. Ando Nuts. Wait, does that mean Jesus' full name is Jesus and Donuts? Dude, we learned something new. Nice. Are we crashing or is he actually gonna land it? And he crashed. How is Jesus so bad at flying? Oh, and now I've broken into little pieces. Well, we're on a beach now. Oh, we're in the, we're in the town. I, I don't, I don't like how the, the map is like split in half. Um, all right. We're on the left side of it, or the top of the map. I'm gonna go get a hint. Wait, no, actually, I should probably buy stuff. Let me get a bunch of upgrades first. Welcome to my store, what do you need? Let's see. Yeah. He has lucky coins, platinum band, diamond band, super plush bear. Yeah. This is gonna be a very expensive <laughs> uh, time But I gotta get all these If I wanna stay Ahead of the enemies Okay <laughs> I decked everybody out In the best gear, gear I could get them uh, Ayo does 135 now And I have a bunch of defense Emma's offense is still pretty low But her defense is way better And then uh, Jesus' defense is insane 
but his offense is also a little low. I gotta get better weapons for both of them. But that'll probably be for later. Maybe I can... I don't know. Find them. Maybe they have specialized uh, vendors. Since I feel like most of their weapons I've kind of just been stumbling on. Like they're just around. And I'm just like, oh, this is better for them. And then I equip it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the hint shop. So I can quickly figure out what I'm supposed to do here. There he is. What's up, dude? 150 for a hint. You need to make a reservation by phone to go to the Stoic Club. Someone in Toto, the port town next to Summers, should know the phone number. Okay. To go to Skaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to fight the Kraken. Would you like a boat ride? I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Is our relationship over? Uh... Okay, so someone in this town, or this part of the town, has the number for that place. Do you know the number? Uh-huh, uh-huh. The club in Summers. You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. Cool. And now I have to go... Uh... Hello, Jesus? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jesus. Hi, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Me? What? <laughs> I, uh, 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 sure. I was not expecting the game to just call me out like that. What the heck? It's becoming meta. There you go. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yeah. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jesus in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later, Jesus. I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time, I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Okay. I have been on the phone with people like that. They take like five years to hang up. Alrighty. I got the phone number and I just have to call him. I can probably use the phone in the shop over here. Alright, let's call. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, hey, yo, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We're looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Alright. Let's go to the club. Oh my god. Sneak attacked. I didn't think we'd get attacked in the open by just a random car. And now Ayo's crying. It's not dead yet. Finally. There we go. I hope the game doesn't take away any of my party members. Because they are essential for me to be able to actually efficiently deal with monsters. Whenever it was just me and Jesus, I had to grind until I got to a certain level. I could handle everything. What is this club for? I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard. Hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche? I'm not comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. 
I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My ID is telling me. What does this have to do with that? You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. The mysterious work of art, I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony of study of self-identification is blah blah blah. I don't know what to do. This one? This person can make cake? Man, I have to... Ah, <sighs> dialogue repeating. Oh, there it is. What? what Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? I see. Okay, why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Stop by a little cart on, on the beach. Alright. Oh, there it is. Is that the cart? Oh my god, it's the dude who takes pictures again. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> He's just gonna stalk me throughout the entire game. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. And he's gonna tell me to say fuzzy pickles again, right? Ready? Yeah, there it is. Oh my goodness. Ah, man. There he goes. I think... What's gonna happen... With those pictures is maybe they're gonna appear in the end in the end credits just like with my name it's gonna be like thank you eddie for playing our game we've got some really spectacular things what would you like gelato no you're really shitty here i'm looking for the magic cake lady though doo -doo 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 -doo. oh there she is hello lady I don't know who told you, you came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. And I can see the matrix. I've broken out of reality. I can see the truth. Ayo had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. What does that mean? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this... Well, I forgot the name of the place in the first game. Oh, no. It's a different thing. The Lamb in the Far East. I thought this was the magic dimension. I think in the first game, we uh, ended up destroying that, that world because it turned out it was just a dream. The Palace of Gabe, the Crown Prince. I think we're just really high oh wait no i'm playing as someone new an eastern prince prince gabe the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test i am praying for your success in this final stage of your training all right i guess it's just like jesus section uh, the the crew got kidnapped and now Gabe has to go save him there's brain food that's good whoa there's a cut yep that's also good brain stone oh, I have PP wait what level is Gabe 41 nice what attacks do I have Life up, healing. I can teleport. But it's probably not gonna let me. He has Psy Freeze and Thunder. Now I have two freezers. When this dude joins with the the main group, <laughs> it's gonna be insane. There's some weird bunny people over here. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Okay. Uh, the next soundstone is definitely gonna be in here. They're gonna move whenever I get the whole crew. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Mu is Mu. 
You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Gabe. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Did he turn into wind and fly? <laughs> okay. I don't understand uh, where this dude lives. Is he on a mountain or on a flying island? Ah, uh, Prince Gabe! I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Gabe, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Please, what I say, it is the truth. He's just gonna... Alright. Fine. I guess I'll go figure out what the heck is going on. Okay. I'ma just ignore him. Yeah, I'ma just ignore him. Uh... She's lying. I went to the temple to see if they actually did tell me to stop. But, uh, but they didn't. So, uh, yeah. I don't care. Never listen to them. They're just trying to distract you. What the heck is that? An ancient ghost. Prince Gabe. I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. What? You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? No. Uh oh. Aw, oh, man. I had to redo the meditation because I said no, and it just kicked me out. Sure, you can break my legs. So, Prince Gabe, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your, tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Prince Gabe, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? So Prince Gabe, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So Prince Gabe, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. You accept this. I will take your mind, Prince Gabe. Know that I will possess it. Is that... Something good? Prince Gabe! You have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Alright. Is he, like, actually possessed? Or... Or is that just like a metaphor? It's like, you shall feel nothingness now. You will be free from all desire. Type of stuff. Let's see, what is he gonna tell me? I am proud. You have completed your Mu training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. What does that mean? Am I free to go? Prince Gabe, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ayo is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Gabe. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ayo at once. For all beings, for the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of all of the four. Nice. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's teleporting. 
I forgot that's how they teleport. That was so fast. My name is Gabe. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ao. I will obey Ao. Ao, my life is in your hands. <laughs> I like how easily they just accepted him. Gabe joined you. They're all just like, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> You're a part of the team. I can no longer make magic cakes, but it doesn't matter because now I'm selling magic tarts. Which tastes even better than magic cakes. I only have this one. Are you gonna buy my magic tart? Who's gonna carry it? I will. Thank you very much. You remind me how much I love this job. What is a magic tart? Recovers about 20 pp. That's it? I guess I'll give it to Emma. Since she's the uh, main pp user. I'm gonna go get a hint again. Oh wait, no. I need to check out Gabe. Yep, Gabe has no equipment. Well, time to waste another 30,000 just to buy all his gear. Okay, I bought him some gear and uh, it made him weaker. So I had to sell all of it, which means in the end I lost money because he probably just gets stronger through fighting people. I, I'm leaving him with nothing. Maybe he needs a special weapon or something. Let's get another hint. Man, these hints make the games go by so much faster. Last episode took me, what, three hours to make some progress? In this one, it's only been 50 minutes so far. Scrubba Cultural Museum. Okay, that's it for- okay. I got it. Alright. Let's check it out. What am I supposed to do in here? Oh, I'm definitely gonna save. Okay. Right now, part of the Skaraba Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to... Yeah. $3 per person. Sure. Alright, let's go in. What am I supposed to do in here? Bumble Bumble, why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Ah, I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. I see. He said four side, the four side museum. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Okay. The pokey was here. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. Okay. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing the great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. Ha ha ha. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hi hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay. Fight these mummies. The shattered man attacked. Blam. That is such a big amount of damage. 502 hits. Is an insane amount. Mummy rap. Nice, and we leveled up. Gabe read the hieroglyphs? To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Skaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything. Waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, two, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Huh? Hey yo, let's go to, to Skaraba. The pyramid is the key. It says four, three, two, five though. Wait one second. 
here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a rare... It's a reward for studying so hard. Use it in your human civilization class? Haha. Uh -huh. Cool. I guess so that... That's so that uh, you don't forget the code that's on it. But how do I get to Foresight? Oh, the lady's gone. Hello. Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy. Busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. All right. I need to go back to Foresight? Oh, I can do that just by TPing. I forgot. All right. Let's go to Foresight. See what the heck is going on here? The museum, he said. What did he find? Hey, you over there, get over here. The admission fee is five per person. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Please go in. You'll find an expert in the area of arts and sciences. You wanna know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Topolo Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Okay. Alright. The show will start any minute. Maybe I can get her autograph. Let's see. Ooh. Are these the lyrics? Venus baby boo hoo hoo Venus sobs. What? The hell is that? Was that just people yelling that out? To get her to sing? I thought that was like her singing. I mean, the music's nice. What the heck? He's breaking onto the stage. It's nice she keep she kept it professional though. I mean that's really that's messed up. I know that happens a lot to quite a few people during concerts and I'm I'm just like are the people that get on stage really that stupid? Like, do they think nothing's gonna happen to them? Oh, it's done. Nice. That was pretty chill. Now, time to break into the, uh, the break room. See if I can get an autograph. Oh, you're a friend of the Runaway 5. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Yeah, they'll go rabid. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Gabe got the signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack? Did she slap him? What? Okay. Um. See you later then. There you go. You got it. That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Also, I think this was the dude that got on stage and got kicked out. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. 
We helped her stalker get a daughter graph. But we needed it. So we can progress. Filthy attack something? I couldn't read it in time. I think we, just, we can just beat it up and it won't do anything. That wasn't much. There we go. I do need to restore Emma and Ayo's PP though. This is some nasty stuff having to go through the sewers. I gotta find the Rat King though. I wonder where the heck he is. What is this thing? You engage the stinky ghost. All the enemies in this game are so weird. Yeah, just... Just kill him. I don't even care about how much PP I use. I just want it dead. Dead. Nice. There we go. If the ice doesn't kill it, then Ayo comes in for the final hit. I found where the rat is. Yeah, just kill the roach. The dead. Nice. Thank you, game, for not making me have to grind anymore. I've kind of just been bulldozing through all the areas. Alright, let's deal with this guy. You finally got here. This is the fifth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Oh, I thought this was to progress the story. I guess not. I guess there was another sanctuary thing in the city yeah pk freeze or Psy freeze and then thunder him it didn't hit anyone oh he did it oh my goodness the thunder hits three times has a big grin on its face I mean, I don't really care if you're smiling, sir. I'm kind of just gonna keep hitting you with my strongest attacks. How much health does it have? This thing is taking punishment. Look at the damage! Each hit is like 300! Nice. It didn't even get to attack. You win. Nice! Another level up. That was so free! It All it did was smile and then get blasted with thunderbolts. Let's get this sanctuary thing. Dun, 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 dun. It's so nice. Hey, you saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Hey, you soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Whoa, there's a carrot key inside. Emma takes it. Maybe we can use that for something. This is nice though. I'm pretty much almost done. I got, what, three more left? Yeah, only three. There's probably some loot down there that I didn't get, but I'm fine with what I've got. Now I have to go to Summers, most likely. Or Scaraba? No, yeah, I already went to Summers. I don't know how to get to Scaraba though. Oh yeah, the Kraken. Ah, uh, the photo dude is back. 
picture's taken instantaneously. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Take a picture of me. I'm not gonna say fuzzy pickles, even though I just said it. God damn it. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And off he goes into space. Because he's an evil alien. Alright. To Foresight we go. Or not to Foresight, to Summers. Nice. The picture guy is back again? It's only been like a few minutes. He, he just keeps... He's appearing faster and faster each time. Until eventually the game's just gonna... Freeze with him taking pictures of me for all of eternity. This weird alien stalker. He didn't even go into the sky that time. He just disappeared. Alright. I think this is going to be the end of this episode. I have to talk to this sailor so we can go on his boat. Uh, and then we're going to fight a Kraken, most likely. But uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more stuff, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to start streaming over on Twitch. I'm not going to be streaming on YouTube anymore. So uh, if you want to see me live sometimes, uh, go check it out. I have the same name. It's uh, Ayo Time. And... Uh, yeah, we can, you know, have fun and chill. But uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.